Hey guys, it's the official fit for survival. Today I'm going to talk about being homeless and how are you going to survive. Um, I'm going to give you two scenarios, living without your car and living inside your car. And how I, my tips and tricks, how I've learned being homeless for two years and still living a life. So, very first things you need to do, no matter what what has happened or what's going on in your life, if you're going to be homeless, and, it, and or if you are homeless right now, and you, you need to find yourself a backpack. You need to find a backpack because this is now another part of your body. This is your part of your human body now. Everything you need on a daily should be kept in your backpack. And if you can, try to find a backpack like this one. Like, it doesn't have to, but this is very helpful. That has a charging cord where you can just plug your phone into it and charge it. Because there's going to be times where you're not going to be able to charge your phone. And you're going to need it to get around. Um, now, another thing that you need to start packing in your bag. I always pack extra pair of underwear. I can't tell you how many times I want to, without bring in underwear and you think it's a perfect sunny day and everything's going well and then bam the weather changes or something happens or situation arise and then your pants get soaked and your underwear gets soaked and then now you're starting to chafe and now you got another problem on your hand pack extra socks in your bag you should always carry extra socks extra underwear carry a travel bag with your toothbrush and that kind of stuff you're gonna also gonna need to bring a comb, shampoo, whatever. Just groom yourself, your daily stuff that you need to survive, to look good, to be presentable. I've been homeless for two years. It's not easy at first. You'll get the hang of it. But the biggest thing that you wanna do is if you're gonna be homeless and you're gonna figure all this out, get yourself a backpack. You're going to want to wear something nice and loose and comfortable because you're going to be walking around a lot. Like I wear a hoodie and some pants that are pretty loose. You don't want anything too tight because you'll realize when you're walking all the time, if you have to walk, if you don't have a car, you're going to start getting sweaty. You're going to start getting hot. So you want to find something loose so you don't start chafing and other things like that. Number two, if you, uh, you should carry an extra, you should buy a gallon of water, or even if you have a water bottle, even better. Um, take those with you, because you're gonna need to hydrate. Hydrating is very key. You're gonna be out in all the weather conditions, if it's cold, if it's hot, and at, during the cold times, drink lots of water, because it will keep you warm. In the summertime, it will keep you hydrated, and two, it will keep you nice and fit. <clears throat> Another thing is, let's say you need to go shower now. You don't have a place, you don't have anything now because you're homeless. You need to find a way to find out how you could shower. If you, let's say you have some money in your pocket. We're going to play both scenarios. You have some money in your pocket. There's major travel stops like TA, the Loves, the Pilot Flying J's. Those are three big ones that are around the whole United States. So that would be a good way for you to go ahead and uh, go ahead and shower. They're roughly about nine to like 15 bucks on average, depending on where you're going and the state you're in and all this other stuff. Um, sometimes you could talk to truckers. If you're very kind and courteous, they have points that they get and they get free showers. So you could ask a truck driver if they, you know, hey, can you help me out with the shower? So uh, you'll get a, you'll, some will say yes, some will say no, but you just got to be patient. But that's a good way to, to get a shower if you don't have any money. If you don't have any money and you can't go to a travel stop, there's not one remotely near close to you. What you could do is go to your local grocery store, get yourself a gallon of water, additional to your drinking water, Pour it on your head, scrub it in, all that good stuff. Wash yourself. Buy yourself some like dry wet wipes. Like they're called uh, dry, I think they're called like 
wet towelettes or they have even shower wipes now. So if you can't take a shower and you really need to clean yourself up, what you can do is get yourself some wipes so you can wipe down your body, stay clean. You want to stay clean, you want to look presentable, and you're going to want to try to keep your job. If you have a job and you can go to your job, still go to your job. That's if, like, if you have a car and you can go to your job, go. Because the next scenario is if you have a car. If you have a car, I recommend you getting a sleeping bag. A sleeping bag, even if it's hot, if it's cold, if it's cold, it gives you padding. You can get inside and stay warm. Because inside your car, it's going to be cold. And sometimes it's going to be hot. And yes, sometimes you can't always run your car. I know countless people that you know are homeless and they run their car all the time and then they have to find means of making ways for them to be able to survive and stay cool but if they can't if they're running their car all the time that's a lot of gas then you're just hurting yourself and you want to try to better yourself if you're homeless or better the situation I should say but if you're in your car, buy a sleeping bag because it's going to give you padding. If it's hot out, that's okay too. You can sit on it. It gives you padding because you're going to be sore. Your, your butt's going to be sore. Your hips are going to start locking up. So that's good. You want to take care of your padding. Buy some extra blankets. Or if you don't have blankets, you can't afford them. You have extra t-shirts that you're probably not going to wear on a daily. Go ahead and put those in the inside of your window. Roll the window up. It gives you privacy. Get yourself a little shade, like a window shade, to keep the sun out. Because that's going to give you privacy and it's going to keep you cool. Because if you use, if you don't use that, the, the sun hitting the dash will heat your car up like a oven. So if you get one of those, put those in there. And then you go ahead and put the, the windows up with the t-shirts inside to give you privacy. Because you're all set at night. You're set throughout the day if you need to take a, you know, take a rest because being homeless is exhausting. Uh, another thing you need to do is, let's say uh, you're in Florida or somewhere hot like that, and that that would probably be the best place for you to be, but also the worst place to be when you're homeless. I've known hundreds of people in Florida that homeless but they can't you know it's just hot it's not fun you're sweating all the time even if you're a native you're still sweating but it's also more benefit than not living on a beach or a place by there and why i say this is you need to shower you cannot walk around smelling offensive and looking offensive so what you should do if you're living on a beach i know there's a lot of homeless people in florida this will help you out tremendously find a beach I mean I can give you tips and tricks of sleeping if you have no sleeping which we'll get to that but if you need a shower the little sand you know rinse all stations where you you know get your feet and yourself go ahead take your travel bag take your backpack with you because this comes with you wherever you go take your shampoo your conditioner wash up Get a bathing suit. If you don't have a bathing suit, put some shorts on. We all own a pair of shorts. Get a pair of shorts. Go out there. Dry your, you know, rinse off. You know, scrub down. Wash your hair. Clean yourself up. And do it that way. That's a way for you to keep, you know, shower. Another way is if you don't have any money in your pocket and let's say you're in the city. I'm kind of in the city right now. A good way to find out is you need to scout a location that is safe, but also you want to try to stay out of sight Um, because there are good cops, there are bad cops, there are good people, there are bad people. You don't know which ones you might come across. So to find yourself somewhere where you know if it gets hot or it gets cold or it gets windy, and you don't have much that you can improvise the situation. Like find a corner. Like over here, this Golden Corral has been out of business for a while now. But like right there, and corners like that sit in a corner. Like you always want to put yourself somewhere in a corner, even if it's for like short term. 
or you're not going to go to sleep or you're just going to sit down and just rest your head rest your eyes for a moment because it's tiring you can sit in a corner corners are the best because they block the wind out in each direction and you might get a little breeze here and there but you're going to be at the end of the day you're going to be able to stay cool stay comfortable that's the whole thing you want to stay comfortable stay cool stay warm wherever you need to be whatever the climate is now food if you're homeless at this point you should be applying for food stamps there's no shame in it if you can't afford it or you don't have the paperwork for it then that's okay we'll get to that next but if you do and you're homeless and you have some identification on you apply for food stamps you know, it might take a few months to get in. It might take a few weeks. Usually it's a waiting period. But at least you could go to your major grocery stores and gas stations. Go ahead and get your food and drink. Um, if you do get on it, it's called SNAP. A.K.A. Food Stamps. Um, take care of your food that way. Get yourself nursed. I can't tell you how smart it was for me to get on that when I was first homeless. Because I was able to figure everything out, figure out how to ration myself and survive. Now I eat like two meals a day. And I'm pretty comfortable. Some days I go with one meal. You just got to figure out what's appropriate. You got to live in your means now. You don't have a house. You don't have anything. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. Is there anything else I really... I don't want to cover everything. But I'm trying to... This video here is just to help you guys, you know, if you have, you're homeless now or you're about to be homeless and you just need to prepare. Um, oh yeah, let's say you do have your car. One last thing before we end this video. I'm sorry it's so long. But when we, when you're, if you have a car, buy an extra gas can. Because you'll be running your car. I mean, I've done it hundreds of times and it's unintentional where you're running your car with the AC on and you just want to take a nap for a moment or you want to just shut your eyes and you accidentally sleep too long and you use more gas than you want to ration out. If you always carry an extra gas with you, it will help you. Always carry your med kit. You'll be all right. <clears throat> so just to review everything we talked about that you need to get, get yourself a backpack that's sustainable. Try to find one if you can that, that can charge because you're not always going to have places where you could charge. And if you have no money, you're not going to be able to pay. Be able to get in, into places and sit down and charge and eat or drink something. So get yourself a backpack. Always pack your extra pair of underwear, clothes, extra set of clothes. Dry and warm. Um, always go ahead and try to get yourself some kind of survival stuff. But you don't have to have a whole ass kit. I mean, I live off just my backpack. I live with my backpack. My backpack, I always carry my clothes, my extra charging cords, charging boxes, and just things I need. I always carry snacks with me. You never know where you might be really stuck out for one day. But that's it there, guys. I'm sorry to make it so long. There's so much to cover in such little time. Um, I think I'm going to have to make like a part two for this. You guys have a good day. Keep surviving.